Hey everyone, Shabby Gamer here, and welcome back to some more of our Skyrim playthrough. Now, I've been doing a little bit of research. I don't like doing this, but I really was... I knew the person we were looking for would be in here. This is the tavern in Whiterun. I knew it. Uh, I spoke to a few people, couldn't find anyone, but now I know exactly who it is we need to speak to. So find the Red Guard woman. And it is this woman here, actually, walking around doing the serving. Hmm. What do you need, handsome? Are you sure? Oh, no. They found me? I need your help, please. Come with me. I need to speak to you privately. Bow chicka wow wow. Come with me. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. Let's speak to see what she's got to say. She might be innocent in all this. I, I say I don't know anything else. I just literally tried to find out her location. Because I have been playing a bit off camera. I've not done anything really. All I've been doing is just been wandering around the town looking to see. If I could find this woman, we'll see. who's now taking me into her bedroom. Interesting. So, are you working with them? You think you can take me? You so much as touch me and you're going to lose fingers. So the Alakir know where I am? What do they offer you? Gold? How many more of them are coming? Tell me. You can't tell them. Please, I need your help, and there isn't anyone I can trust here in the city. I am not the person that the people of Whiterun think I am. My real name is Eamon. I am a noble of House Suda in Hammerfell. The men who are looking for me, the Alakir, they are assassins in the employ of the Almeri Dominion. They wish to exchange my blood for gold. I need you to root them out and drive them away before they find me and drag me back to Hammerfell for an execution. They're mercenaries, only in it for the money. They're led by a man named Kamatu. Get rid of him, and the rest will scatter. I don't dare show my face, lest they recognize me. So you'll have to find out where they are. I heard one of them was just arrested trying to sneak into the city. If he's locked up in the jail, perhaps you can get it out of him. Please, I know I'm asking you to do something difficult, maybe even dangerous. I just don't know who else I can trust. You think I'd be in hiding if this was something I trusted town guards to handle? These men are ruthless, cunning, deceitful. They'll pay off whoever they can. I can't trust anyone here in Whiterun. Guards and Jarls can be bought. And the Alakir are close. I'm running out of time, so I'm choosing to trust you. I don't know for sure. I spoke out against the Aldmeri Dominion publicly. I suspect that's why these men were hired to hunt me down. Okay. I mean it. I'll I'll cut you in half. You're very everyone in this game is very aggressive, I've noticed. <coughs> I know back at this time people were very aggressive, but still. It just seems a bit crazy how aggressive everyone is. I tend to side with it. I'm I'm not all about people being shut up because of Finest cuts. Fresh from the yeah, I don't know if I've even been shut up because their uh, their opinions. Because I'm, I've been known to say some very stupid things myself. So, yeah, I don't think it's too bad. I think we'll side with her. I'm sure we'll get some sort of reward for getting rid of these people. Let's speak to a guard so we can find out who this arrested guy was. What is it, Doc? I know that's some fine armor. Good. I mean, we need to go to somebody specific then, do we? Talk to the prisoner. Oh, we can talk directly to the prisoner, can we? Okay. Well, let's speak directly to the prisoner then. See if he can tell us where they are, because... The thing is, if we go and kill loads of mercenaries, we're bound to get a lot of weapons, a lot of armour, a lot of stuff we can potentially sell. Talking of selling, we need to find a shop at some point and empty our inventory as well, which would be pretty handy. I've not really noticed one as yet in this place. I'm sure there probably is... Oh, I've gone the wrong way again. And I've forgotten how to jump. There we go. Yeah, I've not really noticed the shoppers yet. There must be one around here somewhere, you would imagine. What is it? Where is the prison then? Is it around the back here, maybe? Am I going the complete wrong way? Should I have looked at the map? <laughs> Watch the skies, traveller. Oh, maybe not. No, it's taking us straight there. So, um... There we go. The Dragon's Reach Dungeons. So we're going to have a word with this guy then, see 
what he's got to tell us. Is that a skill book? Nope, not a skill book. Is that a skill book? No, it's not a skill book. Oh. Got to keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. It's fine, mate. I'll kill him. What are you looking at? You have a death wish, then? If you know that name, you must know to meet him would be to meet your end. But it seems we both have needs, friend. Perhaps we can help each other out. I have dishonored my brothers by being captured. So they have left me here. My life with the Alakir is over now. But I have no wish to die in this god's forsaken land. If I can be released from prison, I may start over. See to that, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Okay. Because I was clumsy enough to be captured. Kamatu always says, we're supposed to be the best of the best. I wasn't. 100 gold will secure my release. 100 gold! You can afford that, can't you? I suppose you'd better hope you can. If you want the information, okay. get the money into the hands of one of these guards, and I'll tell you what you want to know. All right, then. Oh, I forgot we still got Farka somewhere. Now I remember. You're that new member of the Companions. So, you what? Fetch the mead? What is it, Orc? Done. Convince him to stay out of the city while you're at it. Everything all right? You buy my way out of here, and I'll tell you what you want to know. I have. Very well. Kamatu is west of Whiterun. It's an unassuming little cave called Swindler's Den. You realize if you set foot in there, you're never coming back out. They'll kill you. But that's your problem, not mine. Guard. Okay. My fine's been paid. Now set me free. If you so we can leave now. We've done that. Should we go and do that in this episode? I think we probably could, because we've still got Farkas with us, who's, um, I'm assuming, going to be a pretty strong companion to have with us. So let's have a look at the map. So where's Swindler's Cave? Is it going to be... We said it was west of Whiterun. Where's Whiterun? There's Whiterun. Oh, so it's over there, Swindler's Den. We also need to go to... Right up here, don't we, to... Northwich Keep, and there was also another one which wasn't too far away, was there, that we needed to do as well? Was it the camp? It might have been the camp. But I think we're going to do Swindler's Den first. That could be a decent mission to do. So let's go into our mission log. Let us take that off. No, I don't want to do that, do I? Nope. Right. Toggle active. That's what I wanted to do. So we're going to do this one now. Let's see. How it might end up being really difficult. We can't do it. But um, we are still only level 5. So that could be a tricky one. I mean, I need to find a vendor though before we go anywhere. Just so I can sell off all the crap that I'm carrying around that I don't really need. Um, which is quite a lot really. Because I do pick up a lot of crap. You may have noticed watching me play these games. Do the same thing on Fallout 4 really. Just pick up absolutely everything. Now where's a vendor? I'm assuming it's going to have... Something hanging outside the door, like a little sign or something. That's what only happens, don't they? Well, there must be a vendor in here somewhere. Clan Battleborn. Um, there must be a vendor around here somewhere. A house. House. House, come on, where's the vendors? This war is as stupid as a few. I'm gonna assume down the front here is gonna be the most likely place to have vendors and blacksmith. That looks like a good, good opportunity here. So I think um, there's no easy way to find good weapons apart from literally to war maidens. Now don't get in a uh, higher up the uh, higher up the rankings. Right, so let's um, first take a look. Sell our stuff. So weapons, ancient Nordic arrows, ancient Nord war axe of cold, five points of frost damage to health and stamina, which is good. We've also got the axe of white rubber, which is slightly less damage. It makes undead flee 
for 30 seconds. So they're both pretty good, aren't they? We can sell that and we can sell that. We can probably sell one arrow. We don't really need one arrow, do we? A hunting bow. I definitely want to keep the bow. I'm just stuck between these two. Which one's best and which one's not? I think probably the Ancient Nord Axe is probably the best one, so I'm going to sell that. I know that's probably a really stupid idea, and people are probably shouting at the screen right now, but that's what we're doing. Right, Iron Helmet gone. Uh, White Run Guard's Helmet, Armor 12. What's our helmet at the moment? It's Restoration, though. Armor 17, so it's not even as good, is it? Two Guard Outfits, a Leather Helmet, an Iron Shield... You know what? We are going to sell the iron shield. Steel armor we've got there as well, so we can sell this iron armor. A misc. Do we have a lot of stuff we're carrying around which is probably heavy? We do have quite a few heavy items, don't we, really? Should be okay. Uh, let's see what this guy's got to sell then. He's got the stuff that we sold him. Uh, hunting bow. Creatures and people up to level 7 flee from combat. Hmm. Interesting. Hunting bow of frost. Takes 10 points of frost damage. Ooh, that's not bad at all, is it? It's actually better than the bow we've got at the moment, but... I don't know if I really want to spend money on bows and that, because I know you can get them... I don't really want to spend money on anything, because I've watched a few videos here and there on the Good internet, and people you. are always saying that don't spend your gold on armor and weapons, because 9 times out of 10 you'll go out into the world and you'll pick stuff up that is better than what you can currently buy, because everything scales up with you, so... The stuff that's being sold at for vendors scales up with you, and um, the stuff you loot from uh, grounded opponents will level up with you as well. So I've, I mean, I've been thinking over the last few days about how I want to play this game, and I think I want to concentrate on... See, I went for Sword and Shield very early on, but I'm thinking now... I'm thinking now potentially... A little bit of conjuration. No, it's not going to be destruction, will it? Destruction. So painful spells, basically. Um, still going down some of the same line as we were before, but I'm also thinking a bit of archery would be nice as well. I don't know if that's just a bit too many things to do at once, though. You might have to let me know if that's a good idea or not. I know the best way is to concentrate on like one or two things rather than going a bit over the top, but I think. Spending a little bit of points everywhere is going to be useful. And I think magic will be very good to have as well. Because if we're using the shouts and that, having magic to go along with it. Like fireballs and frost balls and stuff like that is going to be very useful. Plus it's going to be quite a distance thing as well. So I'm just going to have a couple of shots at these. Um, bitty bobs down here. Might as well practice my uh, bow and arrow skill a little bit. Did I completely miss? Did I hit it? I think I hit it. Oh! What a shot that was! Got the kill and everything! That was a very good shot, that was. Deer hide, venison, and my iron arrow back. That was a very, very good shot that was and again it's just that the way this game works is that, look, is that gold ore? is that gold ore? just rock could just be rock yeah the way this game works the more you do stuff as a is that a giant? I don't think I can fight giants at the moment I think we're too low level to really be successful against the giants I think we're leaving the way he is Because as far as I'm aware, I don't think giants scale with us. So I think giants are like a set level 30, whereas we are currently only a level um, 5, which is obviously not very good still. So we'll try and get these levels up as quickly as we can. Another couple of potential shots here. See, he didn't go down straight away. Maybe we just got a, like a critical hit or something last time. Maybe. Don't matter, Farkas. We'll leave him. We'll leave him as he is. 
So I don't know how far we are. Well, that's sprint, okay. And that one's shout, okay, I remember that. I think it's also as good as well to keep an eye out for a hawk, because I believe that hawk feathers are really good for uh, for healing um, poison and stuff like that. So if we do see a hawk, I'll try and uh, I'll try and take it down with my arrow. So how far away are we from getting to where we need to go? Just imagine we're not too far away, now, are we? Whoa! Everything's just gone crazy, right? Let's slow the game down for a second, then let's uh, change to our axe. Where is he? Well, you did well, Farkas, there. You uh, you sorted us out there, didn't you, mate? I was still messing around changing weapons, okay. There's a, um, a big mammoth-looking thing over there. I'm assuming that big mammoth thing might actually be a mammoth. Wow. I seem to recall now seeing, vaguely seeing like mammoths and that in the game, in the um, in the trailers. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty damn cool. So that's uh, how far are we away from getting to this cave? Can't be too far away, can we? I think we may be getting very, very close. Is this it up here? It's just popped up on the map now as a cave. Is this it? Would we need to go up a, a mountain path over here to get there, maybe? So that's fire, I remember now, yeah. So I'm just trying to remember what I was doing now. It's been a few days since I've had a chance to play this game, so I'm uh, just trying to remember all the buttons. We need to, looks like we need to keep going up the cave, up the cave, up the mountain. I'm a little bit stuck. Where's the jump button? Right, it is, that's what I was pressing trying to go, it wasn't doing anything. Right, there's Farkas there. Yeah, I went the wrong way far. I think we need to continue up the pathway. I think that's probably the best way of going, rather than me trying to get clever and going up the mountain my own way. Right, maybe we do need to go up here. Nope. Where the bloody hell is this bloody cave? Hmm. Let's have a look at the map. How close are we on the map? Oh, it's on the other side of the bloody mountain. It's on the other side of the mountain. So we need to go over the mountain like this and go around the far side. So. We'll pick some plants. Get a bit of herbology going. It's the first time I've really had a real explore out in the world, isn't it? And it is a beautiful world. There's a lot going on. Now, how do the dragons work? Does anyone know? Do the dragons spawn randomly in the world and you can encounter them? Or do the dragons spawn as part of missions in the main storyline? That's something I don't know yet, and uh, it'll be interesting to find that out. Where's Farkas? Who needs Farkas with uh, axe swings like that? Why did a wolf have gold on him? That's, a, that's always a question that confused me. Like on... Um, that used to happen a lot on Fallout 4 as well. If Farkas is over there fighting one, I would just leave him. He'll, I'm sure he'll spawn a bit closer to us in a second. Hmm, some sort of altar there. One second, I just need to... Change the volume on my tally because it's about to switch off. And there's a loose horse here as well. Is that somebody's horse? It does have a saddle on. And there's a guy. Nope. That was not what I intended to do. I meant to loot this guy down here and it jumped on the horse instead. Ten gold. 
We've got some stuff in them as well, all worth gold. That's interesting. That's a little bit of a random uh, little find there, isn't it? Um, so let's go across the water. I don't know if there's anything scary in the water either. That's what I don't know. I know in some games they've got like scary stuff in the water that tries to kill you. Like obviously on the newest GTA there was um, hammerhead sharks and that, weren't there? They could uh, they could eat you. So that's pretty terrifying. Right, it looks like we're getting very, very close to this cave now. This may just be the entrance. So let's get the old axe out just in case. Yeah, the entrance is very, very close now. That looks like an entrancey sort of thing. Now end this as I thought he might speak to me, but no. Don't really matter, we killed him pretty quick and easy anyway. Right, we're going to try and carry as much as we possibly can. Don't know how much it's going to allow us to carry, but... Ooh. Iron helmet, that always do. So we go into Swindler's Den now. Um, so hopefully we can... Uh, I think we need to only kill the main man. I think that's all we need to kill is that main guy... And if we do that, it did say that everyone else would scatter. So maybe we don't have to go too far. But at least we do have Farkas with us. So I'm assuming it's a pretty strong companion. Watch it there, brother. I may have just set Farkas on fire. Just grab some stuff as we like to. Search this bandit, some gold. So I don't know what our carry weight is on this game. And I believe it's linked to stamina on this rather than strength. Which is what it is on Fallout 4. What was that? Was that? Swing and a miss. Steel battle axe, that could be pretty useful. Ooh, 50. Yep, that's that's too much. Okay, that's too much. So Farkas, can you carry for me? Is that we should keep moving. something you're willing to do? No, because you're not a proper companion, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's drop the stuff that's not worth anything then. So two lots of oh. I gotta get used to the new buttons on this game, haven't I? Really? I'm sure they're probably very, very similar to Fallout, but I just keep putting stuff on rather than get rid of stuff. So Iron Gaunt, this is what I want. So is that enough carry weight? There we go. I've got four kilograms left now. I can carry. Maybe I should just take the gold now, unless there's anything. I need to got an hammer fist though. That's worth a lot. And an amulet of. He's pretty good and he has some good stuff on him. Where's this person? There you go. I set him on fire for you, Farkas. Is that is that useful or I just almost set you on fire as well? Um I can't really pick anything else up now. So I just got this new necklace, so can I wear that now? Does that count as apparel? It does count as apparel. Equip. That gives us an extra ten stamina, which is useful. Any crappy weapons we can drop as well. The iron daggers are worth nothing. Yeah, we'll probably go keep the rest of it. Just in case we do find anything else really good we want to pick up. Look at that, an axe to the head. I'm going to take all of these, um. All of the, um. What did I pick up? Ooh, he's got magic as well. He had magic. He was a magic one. Lockpicks, that's what I was thinking. I'm going to take all the lockpicks because... Spell tone healing, nice. Because you never know um, when they're going to come in useful, do you? I'll just hit Farkas again. Gold, lockpick, iron war hammer worth 60. We can't carry anything else, though. Brother. What I do for a vendor out here now, I'll tell you. Watch it there, brother. 
You're the one who keeps walking in front of me, mate. I'm the one casting fire. You should see it. Yeah, I'm thinking magic might be a good way to go, actually. Oh, that's that a longbow. Is that better than... That I have the strength of Isgrimor and my... Move out of the way. Move out of the way. Is a longbow better than the bow we've currently got? Damage 7. Only weighs 5, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Move. 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 Thank you. Is this the right... Are we going the right way or am I going the wrong way now? I think this is the right way, but everyone's dead this way. Have I come back on myself? I feel like this is not the same way we came. Somebody attacked me. I lost health to something. Was that for you? Was that you, Farkas? Bloody companions on this game are so annoying. Right. Well, I did not go through water before, so this is definitely the right way to go. You've proven your strength, boy. Let's avoid any more bloodshed. I think you and I have some things to talk about. Never should have come here. All these guys just spam them with fire, eh? Health is low. I uh, probably went in there a bit too over ambitious, didn't I? Really. Um, minor potion healing. It's gonna take us all to get that up. Die, you poor villain! You got to You can't kill me. Got him. Woo. He's up with some good stuff. 50 gold. Five. Is that it? And a scimitar. Really not. I expected good stuff from the from the main man here. I really did. They've all got crap stuff on them. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. Alright, let's put our scimitar on him. Right. No, I don't want the scimitar. I wanted to drop it. I wanted to drop the scimitar. Uh, drop, there we go. So we've got 50 gold off him, so I don't know if that's going to work out as our reward for this mission, or whether there's going to be something more to it. There is a big chest here. What's he got? Again, nothing nothing special. What's in the chest? An orcish war axe. Well, if that's not roleplay, I don't know what is. Potion of Berserker and an orcish war axe. I've got to take that. Gotta take that. Right, weapons. Um, can I put stuff in here then, can I? Yeah, store. So steel, no, we're gonna have to keep that. Steel sword. That should give us enough then. So now I've got an orcish war axe. What damage? That does 16 damage, whereas our current one does 19 damage. So actually, that's not actually as good. But it is worth 90 gold, so I'm not gonna moan too much. Not going to own too much at all. Anything else in here that we can uh, search that barrel that's in there? Some cabbage. I'll, I'll, I'll avoid the cabbage. I don't need cabbage right now. And a salmon. A salmon. Salmon. Let's just escape. Have they put a quick release place out of here like they do with um, Fallout 4? Generally, you go out the back of somewhere and it gives you a quick way of escaping. There is a hill up here which potentially will drop us back down at the entrance. Is that correct? It is indeed, by the looks of it. And there is the exit this way. Yep, is that it? That looks very much like it. Yes, it is. Well, we did that mission then. To Skyrim. But I don't know what we're going to get for that. Can we can we quick travel on this game? I don't actually know. Um, 
Where's White Run? That's White Run. Fast travel, yes. So we can quick travel on this game. That's useful. So we're going to hand that in now. We might make us level six actually. We can start to um, spend some more points. Like I said, I want to try and spend a bit more points on magic now because I think destructive magic is going to be very useful, and we want a little bit of restoration magic to keep ourselves alive as well. Uh, I think we're also going to want to stay with some one-handed weapons. Of course, we are an orc, so we do have strength in that um, forte. So that'll always be useful to keep a hold of that. Um, also. What else can we do? I think an archery. I think archery would be nice. I don't know. I think archery would be nice, but I don't think it's going to be that important. I think I'll do archery myself, and if we level it up, then great. But spending money on perks is probably not going to be that important. But I don't know. Depends how high level we go, I suppose. We'll concentrate mainly on the things we need to concentrate on first. And then we will um, branch off onto the extras. A little bit later on. So where is she? Is she going to be upstairs? Oh, I fell off the stairs. Stairs in games are annoying, aren't they? Any news of the Alakir? At last, I can rest safely. You have done me a great service, warrior. I cannot thank you enough. Take this reward. I managed to sneak some of my wealth out of Hammerfell when I left. It's the least I can do. For now, I will maintain my ruse here. You are always welcome in the Bannered Mare. 500 gold. That's not bad. Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Huh. Will she buy stuff off me? Oh, she'll only buy food off me then, will she? Which I'm pretty sure I'll be able to cook anyone when I say. So let's leave you alone now then. Well, that's that mission done anyway, which is pretty useful. It's good having Farkas. I don't. Do we need Farkas? Well, he did do a lot of good killing for us, actually. Um, what missions have we got now? So we've got missing in action. We can do that at Northwatch Keep, where we're always going to have a guy up there anyway to help us out. So um, having Farkas there means we'll have three people on that mission with us. Providing honor, which is providing proving honor, which is the mission we need to do with Farkas. We're retrieving the fragment. The way of the voice, which is the main story mission, which I believe is actually very uh, useful to do early on. So I think we'll probably do that at some point very close. So. Probably what I'll do is I'll probably do these two first and then go up and do the Way of the Voice because that way you learn some more um, voice spells, if that's the right uh, word, word for it. So we'll go and do that at some point as well. Um, but of course, for now, that is going to be all for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please be very useful for me and hit that like button. It does really help me out. And of course, if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well for a lot more Skyrim. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.